speak, they will tell him to mute. Sorry. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, apologies for the delay. We've been joined today by uh, RPME, and um, uh, he's in Nigeria. So you're going to have to bear with us. Unfortunately, his electricity isn't working today. Um, uh, not an unusual sight, I'm told, in, in Nigeria. But we're also joined with our, by our esteemed colleague, um, Mike Ellis. And of course, Collins is here today. So, what, what I'd like you to do, um, uh, Opiemi, is is give us some background about you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your journey in On Passive, and 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 what is it that you do in um, in Nigeria with the On Passive guys? So, I'll mute your mic for you. All right. You're muted at the moment. We can't hear you. Yeah. That's better. Okay, can you hear me Go now? Go for it. Right, okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, we, we can hear you now. Right, okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, my name is Solani. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, my name is Solani Me, I'm from Nigeria, in Abuja, capital city of Nigeria. And uh, I'm working with Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, an agency under Minister of Health in Nigeria, and also a founder of Unpassive since year 2022. And it's been a wonderful time for me to be a founder through uh, Madame Machine. And it has been a great journey and a very lovely one which uh, I've been telling people about it. And presently, I have uh, more than 200 affiliates in Nigeria, in my environment, and beyond. So it's a big family. And I know very soon, everybody worldwide will know more about Unpassive because based on our CEO saying that we are all in it to win it. And I believe that and everything will come to realistic by the grace of God, and I pray that the Almighty God will continue to uphold the CEO, Ashimo Fare, to take the complaint on passive to the greater height level. So I welcome everyone to this uh, great com complaint on passive. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's, it's great to hear from you. Um, <clears throat> tell us a little bit Hello. more about... Um, okay. um, Tell us a little bit more about um, what, what you've been doing with these guys. Have you been introducing these guys to some of the, the, the webinars for them to, to come on? Or um, have you been doing meetings? Or what's your, what's your key? Webinars for them to do What's your key? The thing is breaking. I couldn't hear you very well. Please, can you come again? Yeah, sorry. Uh, there is a delay, so you're going to have to bear with us. But um, it, it was really a case of, of Please, oh, yeah, you've got quite a big, big family. And this family that you've introduced, and, do you, um, have you been doing meetings with these guys to introduce them to what's going on? Or have you, have you introduced them to some of the webinars? Or how have they, how have they joined with you? How have they become part of, of On Passive? Okay, I've been having a meeting with some of my affiliates and some of uh, the members that I have in Nigeria. And uh, through, uh, at times, I give them a link to join the one that uh, we normally have through the, our CEO. And I'll also meet them one-on-one -on -one to tell them more about uh, on passive, which most, let's say 90% of them, they always go along with me about the unpassive, I've been meeting them also one on one to tell them the opportunity that the uh, unpassive is bringing to the entire world, and it's been a great to meet them, and they are always happy to be in unpassive. I have more than two hundred uh, affiliates in Nigeria and beyond presently, and I've been putting them through every day, and even welcoming other members now but due to the migration that is going on presently 
I stop welcoming uh, a new member now. So maybe when we finish with the migration, then that we continue inviting more people to be an own Pacifier. Excellent. Excellent. So you're sharing the opportunity and, and uh, giving information about how what is on, on passive is all about, etc. Yeah. Giving information about how what is on, on passive is all about. I do that very, very often. Today, I've even spoke to some people in Nigeria, even in my environment. I'm just waiting for the company to come up with the uh, when our site opened back then. With that, we see more people joining on passive. I'm sure we will. You're quite right. Mike, so um, sure let, let's hear something right. from, okay. from you, uh, and um, what are your thoughts on what's happening at the moment, moment with this migration situation? You're muted. Yeah, I was going to say everybody needs to mute, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Andy. I, there, there's a lot of things going on in on passive, and and I want to start with this, and there's a reason for it. <clears throat> you know, within on passive, we pray for a lot of people, a lot of people that are in need, and, and it's a good thing. It really is. And I would ask people to throw a prayer out there for Donald J. Trump. He just survived an assassination attempt. And I would pray that he and his family stay strong in Christ, with Christ, and through Christ. Really, really important. And if Mr. Trump had been assassinated, we would have woken up to a totally different world than we have right now. And that includes on passive. It would have been a really, really bad thing if it had happened. So throw a prayer out there for Mr. Trump. Uh, we, we don't want him assassinated. Believe me, the world would change in ways you don't want it to change. And on passive, it would affect on passive. And that's another discussion we can have at another time. But uh, it, it wasn't a good thing. So let's talk about on passive and what's been going on the last week or so. Uh, really interesting times, wouldn't you agree? Um, Mr. Mufara came on uh, almost a week ago on 360. And as I listened to the 360, and, and I, I've gotten a lot of different opinions about what people heard there. But for me, it was probably one of the best lives that Mr. Mufara has ever done. Really was. And he's done a lot of really, really good lives. But he came on, he understands that the affiliates within on passive you all are really, really smart. You really are. And he came on and he knew he had to give the information that he had to us. And he came on, he gave, gave us some really pertinent information that everybody needed to hear. And then he edified. Okay. Now let's start with the first part. Mr. Mufara came on and he said that on passive have gone through really hard times but what they're going through right now was the most difficult times he's had in on passive. And I know when people started to hear Mr. Mufara talk, just all kinds of things started to go through their brains. But if you continue to listen, he really did appease that. As he talked about it, he said, yes, these are really, really hard things that we're doing right now. We're doing the major restructure. We're having to do things so that as, as on passive comes out of the fog, we come into a, a day that's brighter than any day you've ever seen. He talked about some of the issues that, that they're having. And he said, listen, we didn't just start dealing with these issues. We've been dealing with them for, for, for months now. He has them under control. He will deal with them. He will correct what needs to be corrected. And on passive, as I said, we'll come out of the fog and we'll come out into the, into the bright sh sunshine and it'll be brighter than you ever thought it would be. I thought it was really, really important that Ash was, was, was brutally honest with us. He had to do that. And for me, when I think about it, 
what Mr. Mufara brought to the table was clarity. And if you have clarity about anything, now you have a way to move forward. You really do. And because of what Mr. Mufara said, because of the issues he's dealing with, because he has them under control, he will deal with them, they will get dealt with, and it will be fine. It gives us great clarity that we know in time things are going to be better than they've ever been. So let's talk about time just a little bit. He said it was going to take a little bit of time to get through all of these issues. Okay, I'm fine with that. What if it's another month? What if it's two months? What if it's three months? Does it matter? It, it doesn't. These are things that Mr. Mufara has to take care of in order to take care of us, in order for Unpassive to do all the things that we've talked about over the last five and a half years. And, and when you look at Unpassive, we want that to happen. So whether it takes a month, whether it takes three months, whether it takes two years, and I say that in jest, guys. It's not going to be two years. I just, I just put that out there. But for me, you know, for me, I've been looking for on passive for 30 years, guys. I can wait another three months. I could wait another year if I had to. It's not, it's not going to take that long. I just use that as, as an example. But on passive has everything that I've been looking for, and Marty and Dan, the two individuals that I, that I work with mostly in on passive. Everything that we had been looking for is there. And because of that, whatever Mr. Mufara has to do, and again, this was the news that most people heard and went, oh, crap. But it was good news, and I'm glad Mr. Mufara shared. And that's why I thought the webinar was as good as it was. He was just flat out honest with us. <clears throat> And when you think about that, again, it brings you clarity when you understand what he's saying, when you understand he has everything under control, when you understand that things are going to happen, and they really are going to happen very, very quickly. I mean, even if it's a month or two or three, that's really, really quick for a full structure of a billion dollar company. Okay. And that's what's happening right now. He's doing what's necessary so that as he comes out, you and I, which we've been, we, all we've been doing is just waiting. You and I, we come out, and we, we, we look like a million bucks. It's, it really is good. Now, saying all that, we get to the part where Mr. Mufara edified everybody in on passive. And this is extremely powerful, guys, if you understand what he said. Now, to start with, I know a little bit about human nature, okay? And most of the people, and just, this is the way it is, guys, most of the people they heard that first part that Mr. Mufara went over and they went, oh, oh, oh how long is it going to be? How is it going to affect me? Is the money going to be there when we when we come out of the fog? Is he really going to take care of me? Is Unpassive going to do? And it went on and on and on and on. And they didn't catch the second part of what Mr. Mufara talked about. And, and really, the whole live that Mr. Mufara had, it was about marketing, it was about the business of Unpassive, it was about marketing, and it was about traffic. That's what the whole that's what the whole webinar was about, the whole live was about. And when Mr. Mufara started to talk about his past, and he really focused in on traffic, and he talked about the 90s and how easy it, how easy it was to drive traffic in the 90s, and then you get into the 2000s, it got a little more difficult. Then you get to 2010, much, much more difficult. And then 2020, it was a bear. And as I sat and listened to Mr. Mufara, I kind of went through my journey just very, very quickly. And before I went to work with Marty, Dan and I, when we started to get serious about marketing online, we had the brilliant idea. And this was this is absolutely brilliant, guys. I'm jesting, by the way. But we had a brilliant idea that we would write a book and we talked about it and we thought, well, we'll write a book about marketing, what we're trying to do. And Dan and I, we spent seven months researching and writing a book about marketing. And Dan was working at the time. So I would I would do the research in the day. I would write. I would give it to Dan. Dan, Dan would edit it, which was a godsend because I can't work. I can't write where the dam and. And, and then he would give ideas of what direction we should go in, what content we should have in the book. And, and we did that. And after, after seven months, we put a book together and we put it out there. Now, 
this was a book about marketing. What what Mr. Bufara was talking about, driving traffic, getting eyes in front of what, you, what, what you're selling and get pe people in to buy. And we put the we put the book out there and guess how many books we sold. It was an ebook. You could buy it online. We didn't sell a one. We had just done a whole a whole book on marketing and we couldn't sell one book. Period. And 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 the information in the book, it was good for a beginner. It had a lot of good concepts, but in the end, it wasn't going to make it money. It wasn't going to make money for anybody. And then we got together with Marty and Dan, Marty and I, we, we kind of figured out what we needed to do to actually market, actually drive track, traffic, get eyes in front of what we were selling, have people come in and buy. And we were we we thought we were pretty good. I mean, we really did until we met Ash Mufara. And that that brings me to the second part of what Mr. Mufara shared with us last Wednesday. And it was all about traffic. And Mr. Mafara, he came on and he started to talk about not only what he did initially, but what they were doing today using AI. And I have a little bit of an understanding of what they're doing with AI. I'm not going to get into the into the weeds, into the technical aspect of what he's doing, because it's very, very complicated. But what Mr. Mufara is doing is literally putting the golden goose in front of us. When you can drive traffic, when you can get good qualified eyes in front of whatever you're doing, it's game over. And then you add to that, Unpassive is coming in and they're providing everything. Again, Unpassive is going to work for each and every one of us. They're providing the content. They're pro providing the traffic. They're providing the backup. They're providing the auto. They're providing everything so that people will come in, look at your shop, the products on your shelf, and buy. This is so extraordinary, and I think people miss this. When I think about what Mr. Mufara is doing and how it affects you and I, okay, whether you're a Marty DeGarma, whether you're Andy, whether you're Collins, whoever you might be, whatever talents you have or don't have, it just doesn't matter because Mr. Mufara is going to, bring, is going to be bringing traffic, quality, quality traffic to each and every one of us. And regardless of what you do, on passive is going is going to. I, I was going to say guarantee. We don't guarantee anything, but on passive is going to force you to be successful, and and I believe that a hundred percent. And it's because of the traffic that Mr. Mufar is developing with AI, and the amount of traffic that's going to be coming in is going to be mind-boggling. I'll, I'll end with this real real quickly, guys. And most people don't think in these terms, but it's where I go right away. And I'm going to be very, very conservative. I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. Because of what Mr. Mufara is doing, because of the genius behind what he is doing, because he is literally coming in and managing your business, a six-figure income is a piece of cake over time. I think a quarter of a million dollars over time is something that every affiliate within on passive can do if they engage, if they do what Mr. Bufar asked them to do and you let on passive go to work for you. It's even better than that because of the traffic source that Mr. Bufar is bringing to on passive. It is something we have. And Marty's talked about this. Andy's talked about this. Collins has talked about this. You can literally come in and speed up, the amount of time it takes you to get to where you want to be by buying traffic. And when I say that, it's not like you have to buy it and do something with it. You don't. You buy the traffic. You go, here it is, Mr. Mufara. I bought more traffic. Can you drive this through my shop? And Mr. Mufara will smile his, his little shy smile and go, yeah, we can do that. And they're going to do that for each and every one of us. It's not something you have to do. But I can guarantee the majority of the people that are affiliates with on passive, you will do that. Not you will do that because you're going to see the results of other people doing doing just that, buying additional traffic, letting on passive um, manage that traffic and drive traffic to your shop. Now, if you have a if you have a skill set online, all that all that does is it it, it just manifests what on passive can do for you exponentially. And if you don't have a skill set, that's okay. 
you're going to be an on passive. You can't help but develop different skill sets listening to everybody that you're going to be listening to. You you can't help it. You 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 get you get those skill sets by osmosis, just coming on and talking to people. So when I listened to Ash on on Marty's live uh, 360 uh, last Wednesday, I thought it was just abs. I thought it was the best of Mr. Mufara. He's done a lot of really, really good lives. Lives, I thought the information he gave us was was just superb. It gave us clarity, and then the second part, it edified everybody in on passive. And if you understand edifying, he built you up. He's telling you where you're going to go. He's telling you what on passive is going to be doing. He's telling you where you're going to be. It's a really, really good place. Whether it takes a week, a month, two months, three months, I don't care. Like I said, I've been searching for on passive as Marty has for 30 years. Now, 30 years ago, the technology wasn't there for, for Ash Mufar to do what he's doing today. And, and Collins will tell you that. It was impossible for him to do what he's doing today. But today, because of the technology and because of Ash's curiosity about technology and business, we're there. He's doing it. It's a done deal. It's happening right now. We're in a great place on passive, in my mind, as far as business goes, is the only place to be. There are other things you need to think about. I think there's a spiritual side you need to get real serious about, too. But on passive, when we talk about business, when we talk about financial independence, financial liberty and freedom, on passive is the only place to be for the majority of the people in this world today. And believe me, on passive is going to change lives. And when it happens, like I said, that fog is just going to lift. And that light's going to come in. It's going to be brighter than you've ever seen in your lifetime. Andy, I'll turn it back over to you. Hopefully, hopefully that made sense. Unmute. <laughs> See, I'm at it now as well. You got me doing it. Sorry, guys. There you go. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Mike. That was great. Um, I, I know Collins is kind of like a, um, a specialist or an expert, if you like, about target specific targeted traffic so uh, collins take it away let me understand fully what specific targeted traffic is oh <laughs> and you know i'm not a marketer but i will try you know mad maddie and, and the real expert are here buddy and dan just want to tell my a brother from nigeria you know i'm glad that at least you're able to join us today so um yes the, the before I go to that, Andy, the first thing I really wanted to talk okay, about today was at least we join us today. So sorry, um, you want to mute? Yes, the, the, the before I go to that, Andy, is it okay? All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so um, one of the things I wanted to talk today is about patient. You know, some of us really lack the patient, especially. At this point in time where the 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 oes is not available the on passive ecosystem is not available you know most founders they are like losing patience you know two things i noticed you know this period and this period i took it as a as a moment of reflection and behavior how founders will behave if they don't see anything what will be their mind because the only time you can know somebody is only when things are not really working in their favor. That's when you know the people, you know the person. But if everything is good, my mom always said, if everybody, you know, everybody celebrates you, there is something wrong with you. Check yourself, there is something wrong. The only time you know people is only when things are not going on their favor. So the reason why I brought this is because, you know, we don't have OES now. We know that there is migration. Some people are just still wake, coming up just to check and realize that, why, 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 why can't I log in? So I asked myself, where have you been? Where have you been four weeks? We know when it came out, it's something that everyone should know, especially if you've been paying attention, you know what is already going on. And patient is the virtue because you must have patience. You must have belief in something. I always said on passive is a startup company. I think I've never been in a startup company before, but this is, you know, something that I've just embraced because I want to see it through. I really want to see where on passive from the day I joined to where on passive will take me to. So I can explain the journey in a very good way to say, this is where 
This is what happened along this journey. There was time that this happened. And we need to, you know, gather all those statistics, keep all those memories. This is part of the one of the time where we should say, all right, there was no OES. So what do we need to do? We need to still continue doing what we are doing, believing that what Ms. Ash Mufara is doing is great because he is not quitting. Whether we quit or we stay, he is not quitting. OP360 said, this is my life. There is nothing more left. This is my life. And if a CEO of a company come out and say, this is my life, this is what I was born to do, who am I to say no? You know, the only thing is to be patient because if it was that easy, I think everybody, anybody can do it. I don't need Mr. Ash Mufara. If it was that easy to do, I don't need Mr. Ash Mufara. I can go ahead and do my own. But because it is not that easy, that is why I am here. Because I know to build this, put everything together, takes time. You know, if it is possible, I think most of us will say, I can do what I don't need Mr. Ash. But to be honest with you, it takes time. And one of the things to build a company of this magnitude, you never know because founders, some of the founders and affiliate, they said, no, Mr. Ash Mofara should have known that this ABC will happen. In IT, you don't know. It's just like you're driving a car, you're on the highway. You don't know what will happen in the next second. And someone will tell you, you must be able to predict. You are not God to predict. You build, you fix, you adjust as you go. That's how it is. You adjust things as you go. You make sure things are running. And if it's not, you say, all right, this is the next plan I will take. This is the next plan of action. Go back to the drawing board, adjusting and go. The only time you, you fail is only when you give up. Ms. Ash Mufara is not giving up. So he is still there. Now, let me go back to where Andy talk about the, the traffic. Uh, let me come from the technical part because it's something that I've seen. You know, a lot of founders, the worry, say, oh, why are we not seeing marketing? Why are they not doing this, Bosch Khalifa? I say, you know what? Let me tell you, the direction now where Ms. Ajmufara is, that is the big, that is a big deal. That is it. That is the world now. The world is going through AI-generated traffic. Like Ash explained it last time, he said there are a lot of AIs. Yes, it depends on how you want to use your AI. On Passive, is using AI in a different way. It will be different from the way Elon Musk will use AI. It will be different from the way Mark Zuckerberg will use AI or the other company. On Passive is building AI for to suit what On Passive is building. You know that is the first thing. Now he talks about traffic generation using AI. I've seen that in a little bit. And you know we used to talk about this behind the scene. Mike Ellis even last this I explained this. I said something that I've seen and it's very huge really, really huge for on passive. They did Ash explain that. I said, this is a game over. You don't need anything like marketing again because AI can pick any... Look, we are all in the internet space. Whether you like it or not, your data is there. All of us are in the internet space. As long as you get a mobile phone, you are there. If you like or somebody, I said, go online, put your name, search, go to Google, put your name in. Click enter, see the information that will come about you. It will tell you everything about some of the things about you. You'll be shocked. And you say, how? When did I really go here? No, I, I was not. As long as you've been doing things online, you've been raised, you've been going to site, register, setting site. They tell you all oh, this, they want this. Your information is already online. And AI can get you anyhow. You go, you look for something, AI will pick you and drop you where? You think you don't want to go. It point you to the direction. And this is what they are, is happening now. Targeted AI. Filter all the data. Like I said something. Someone will not go looking for maybe a back of cement. Or maybe you want to build your back garden. The next minute AI put you in a shop, a grocery shop. It will never happen. So like normal marketing, you just like you have the unfiltered data. to come in your normal and then, you know, you look at it and say, no, this is not what I'm looking for. But when it comes to AI, targeted traffic, you know, the, the system knows how to filter, knows that ABC, Mr. ABC is looking for O-Connect. This, this is looking for O-Net. This, this is looking for that. So it points you to that direction and there is no waste of time. And it, do, it will do it in seconds, in milliseconds. 
the moment you click that button on your laptop, AI will pick you and put you where you think you don't want to go and direct you right to the spot. That is what is happening now. Now, 2024, it is happening. Not like it will happen. It is happening now. You know, and Mr. Ash Mufara have taken it to another level. The level that <laughs> you will not even believe. When he said that, I was blown away. I said, this is it. This is it. It is finished. You don't need all of those, all of those click for there and stuff. No, 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 no. We've moved that. We've, we have moved past that stage of marketing. Now machine is doing everything for you, directing you anyhow you want to go. This is something that we can talk about, you know, any other time. But I will leave it there, Andy. <laughs> Let me just throw it back to, to our brother Badi and Mike Ellis. <laughs> yeah, no, th thanks, Collins. Um, uh, Marty, I'm, I'm sure you're chomping at the bit to have something to say. Hope, hopefully, you've been, uh, 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 you know, you've heard what's been said so far. I know you're busy. So, what would you like to add, Marty? And you muted. Here's what I'd like to add. Yeah, see, I clicked the button. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Here's what I wanted to say. I was listening to you guys talk about it. This this is the difference. All right. When we when we did myself, Mike and Dad did targeted traffic. Okay, here's how this works. I'm gonna do it as quick as I can. I go into Facebook. They have a Facebook ad. I find out what we wanna what we want to accomplish. I go in, I find out where do we want to go, what country, what age group, what people do we want to target? Now, how do you target? If I was doing conference call or conference or web conferencing. I would go to people and I would say, looking for people that use Zoom, for example. Okay, so that gives you a list. Then I would say from age 22 to 60. Okay. And then I would say, I want to run it around the clock and I want to spend this much money an hour. And then I have to make an ad that'll work with that. Okay. Now, all everything I'm saying to you is a three month thing. By the time you get it where it works, you set it off, you let it go two or three weeks and you find out that the age group is too, too wide. Some people at, at 62, whatever I go to, let's say I want 66, that's max. But let's say I said at 63 and above, it's not worth the advertising. So you got to go back, take that part out. Then you find out that I have men and women. Not as many women do it. And if you look at the cost, you say, well, do I want to go, do I cut out that cost or, or bite it, thinking that the women will probably share it? Okay, so then you redo that. And this goes on all the time, back and forth, back and forth. And then on top of that, I'll go, people who follow somebody that's a big guy on, on uh, YouTube or something like that, whatever you got to do to link it. And it's a moving target all the time. Now, whatever we get for three months, and then we get it fine-tuned, and if we could get 50 cents a lead, we were kicking it. And these were targeted traffic that we know about. Now, I want to, now picture this. AI is doing that in a blink of an eye with hundreds and millions of data. Boom, 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 boom. And... It's analyzing as it goes. So what took me three months to figure out, Marty, you're wasting money here. You could do it here. It's going good, 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 bad, 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 bad time, good time, blah, 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 blah. And every, the longer it runs, because AI will run through machine learning, Collins, if I mess up, you fix it. Okay, that's why you're here, all right? So it, it'll run it, and it tightens it up and tightens it up and tightens it up. And then you raise the cost. You scale it. Let's, let's look at something that I've said that should make everybody want to change their pants. Okay. He used to send 80 million emails a day. If he's impressed with AI, we're in big, big trouble. I mean, good trouble. Because I'm telling you, we're, when it's analyzing, there's no sweat. Sometimes when you're doing something targeted traffic, you throw your feelings in it. Well, I think that well, as soon as you do that, you lost. So as soon as you think, I think, it doesn't matter what you think. 
It matters what works. And AI doesn't give a crap who you are, what you do. It analyzes where you walked, where you, what you clicked on, who you are, how old you are, how often are you in a conference call, how, how often do you share it, how often do you go to other people's conference call, how much have you spent on conference call, and they're just doing this in one-tenth of one millionth of a second, over and over and over and over and over and over. And then I said something really crazy, because he is, don't tell anybody I said that. He's taken bits and pieces from other industries and he's going to make this hodgepodge where it all works together. And people say, well, why would he do that? I like focus on a guy that's educational for using conference call. The health industry uses conference calls too. And so does all the other industries. You find a way to bounce it back and forth. Now you've got machine learning. AI on steroids, and you just direct it. You, you know that thing when it, when it waters your grass and then it goes back? That's what you're going to have with traffic with AI. That's my opinion. I am not an AI ex expert. That's all I got. Thank you, Marty. Um, I, I, I have to say, it, it's it's great. The, the, the targeted traffic is fantastic for those that can afford it. Uh, and initially... For me, certainly, it's a case of being able to share the information with others. And that's all it is. It's a sharing process. And I'm sure you'll agree with me, uh, Opiemi, that, that simply speaking to people is actually quite simple. It's getting to speak to as many people as you possibly can uh, with an enthusiasm about what, you're, what, what, what you've got to offer. Um, and... and I love the um, analogy that Chris did about the car because this is an opportunity for you to test drive <laughs> this opportunity before you buy, before you do anything. Um, and I love that. It's like test driving a car. You don't buy a car unless you've test driven it. So, um, Opiemi, what are your – obviously, moving forward, you're going to carry on doing what you're doing. Um and trying to share it with more and more people. But at the moment, where are these people coming from? Who are you talking to? Um, what is yeah, your, what are your top target market? Obviously, moving forward, you're going to carry on doing what you're doing um, and trying to share with more and more people. But at the moment, where are these people target market? Okay, thank you so much. I so much believe uh, in our CEO. And uh, I believe presently in Nigeria, by the time everything is okay with Unpassive, you will believe with me that Nigeria will be the most users of Unpassive products with the help of the AI and the HML, because there are some things that uh, people love doing in Nigeria in terms of uh, the IT, they are very good in that. And uh, I, I believe as time goes on, on passive we have large numbers of people from Nigeria. With that, I have that assurance. And he, uh, a great leader, is already a great leader for every one of us. And beyond this, I believe also With the level we are going in on passive, we are going to break the internet. Everyone worldwide will enjoy on passive and it's a big place. Uh, with the company, by the time everything with the migration is done completely, believe me sincerely, you will see the percentage of people in nigeria that will be buying or patronizing on passive and to be uh good users i so much believe in on passive no matter what is going on presently in the migration and other things i so much believe that very soon everything is going to be okay and we are going to enjoy more than what you are experiencing now so that's what I have to say. Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm really pleased about that. Um, okay, Michael, I'm sure you've got some more that things that you want to, uh, to chat about on the back of uh, what we've already talked about. So, um, Michael, please take it away. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when we start to talk about AI and traffic, uh, Marty and Collins, I mean, I mean they're spot on. Uh, the really cool thing I like to think about when I think about Mr. Mufara and AI and traffic it's just not any AI. It is an AI that Mr. Mufara and his team have developed specifically for traffic. Uh, it's not out there. Nobody else in the world has it. Nobody in the nobody else in the world will ever have it. And as we get into it and they start driving traffic, and there's what 5.6 billion people online right now, and that's increasing every day. Uh, we're going to have a way to touch each and every one of those individuals that are online. Honest, clean, ethical. It'll always be honest, clean, and ethical. That's a done deal. It's a done deal. And because of that, Unpassive is going to flourish like you've never seen anything flourish. But I want you to think about the products of Unpassive, uh, uh, four or five, six different products of Unpassive, O-Connect, O-Staff, O-Academy, o, 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 o all the different, and that's why Mr. Mufar came out and wanted us to prioritize what products we thought should come out first. When you start to think about the AI traffic and you start to think about the products of Unpassive, and we've let's say we've got three, four, five products out there, all those products are on your shelves. The amount of volume that's going to be coming in, and this is really, really important for new people to understand, you know, how is Unpassive going to support a million affiliates or whatever it is. And Mr. Mufara has done the numbers. He knows what the numbers are. He knows how the numbers work. He knows the volume that's going to be coming in with each product of Unpassive. Why? The product products are superior, superior technology, best products in the world at a lower price point. When you do that, people will come in and use the products and they will continue to come in because Unpassive is continually improving the product. They're getting better and the price is probably coming down as Mr. Mufara does that. So when you think about the traffic, when you think about eyes in front of your shop, and then you think about the four or five products that are in there that they can come in and purchase, and every time they purchase a product, you make a commission, and you start to look at the numbers that are going to be happening within your organization, not anybody else's, yours. Then you can start to realize that, that over time, Letting on passive go to work for you over time, you will get to that place of financial independence. And it's going to be more money than you thought was possible in any online company. I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, that's not Mr. Mufara talking. That's not on passive. That's me talking. I know what the numbers look like. I know what the volume looks like. I know how, how massive our market is with one product, then you add two, three, four, five, five products. All of a sudden, the amount of people that'll come in and buy those products, it, it really is extraordinary. And I know none of this was, was happenstance. Mr. Mufara, he understands what he's doing. As Marty said, any anybody that can get 80 million emails out a day, you know we're in good shape today with AI and, and traffic from on passive. So we're again, Andy. We're we're just in really, really good, uh, really, really good place. I know, I know some people. All they see is the fog right now because we can't see what Mr. Mufar is doing behind the scenes. All they see is the fog. The fog will lift, and when it lifts, you're not going to be disappointed. None of you, unless you quit, unless you go someplace else, unless you chase another shiny object, because there are no, there are no other shiny objects out there. On passive, it's it. Been doing this a long, long time. I wouldn't want to be any place else. That's it, Andy. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm exactly the same, Mike. I think, um, uh, like you, I've been. I've been looking thirty years for something like this. Uh, the one thing that struck me when when he sent that um, uh, offer out to to us to to come back to him and let him know which products we would prefer to see come out, that tells me more than most have understood, because. Basically, what that really means is, look, guys, all the products are ready that we've already discussed and mentioned in the past. They're already ready to go. 
The only thing that's simply holding us up at the moment is the payment system, making sure that the payments can come in, go out, come in, go out, which I have no doubt are being tested at the moment. And obviously the migration across from the um, uh, founders across the new. And uh, my understanding is also that uh, we're moving the data to our own data centers. Um, uh, and that is obviously taking a little bit of time. But this is all so exciting. Because at the end of the day, you know, we, we know that stuff is going on in the background. Well, we don't know the stuff that's going on in the background, but we know it's like a swan. You see this graceful bird crossing the uh, uh, the, the lake, and underneath the, the flippers are going like this, go paddling like mad. And I'm sure that's exactly what, <laughs> what we've got with on passive. Collins, what would you like to add before we call it a night today? A night today, get it? Um, ah. And I'll let Marty <laughs> say something else as well before we go. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking back to my, my first word, that patient is the key. Patient is the virtue. You know, in life, if you don't have patience, you can never succeed. You know, to be able to be successful, you must have patience, you must believe, and you must have hope and faith. You know, you can't go for to you can't go for an exam with the, with the mindset that you will fail. You will always fail, but when you believe in something and you have that hope and patience, no matter how bad it is, you'll be successful. There are times that you do something. Not every time success will come, but do you know your belief can turn things around? Because you said this is it. I'm not turning back. I will make sure, no matter how hard it is, how difficult it is. I will make sure I get there. And what happened? You'll be there. You'll be there. I read a story today. I think someone shared on Facebook, and I was just like, this is, I think it was about Sylvester Stallone. How he struggled. Hey, I will yeah. make sure oh, I can you get there. Yourself? And what happened? You'll be oh, there. Oh, God. You'll be, you... uh, I think it was about Sylvester Stallone. How he struggled. Yeah, is it good? Yeah. Oh. You know, the, he's, can you... Andy, do you want to mute him? You know, he, he's... All right. It's okay now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the feedback, yeah. So I read the story today and I was just like, this is really patient. You know, the story about how he struggled before become one of the, before he produced one of the best films. Even the producer said, no, we don't want you because you don't know how to talk. He doesn't look good. Sell, sell it to us. We, we don't want you to be the main actor. But he said, no, if I'm not part of the movie, forget it. They offer him a lot of money. He still refused. Until how much? He said, all right, we will take you, but we'll give you less than that amount. Was it? It was about 35000 36000 US dollars. He said, yes, I'm happy to take it as long as I'll be the main actor. But what happened? The Rocky, you know, became one of the best and he won the Oscar award. But this is somebody... You know, they write off. They say, you know what? You can never do anything good. You don't know how to speak. You don't You don't even look like a proper actor. You cannot be a superstar. But what happened? So sometimes you need to persevere and believe in your own ability. Don't allow people to determine who you are. You must determine and decide. Because most of the time, we listen for people to tell us how good we are for us to be able to do something. But that's the time you fail. You need to listen to your own ability to succeed. You know, Mr. Ash Mufara made a statement last time. A lot of people came and said, oh, it means we have to look for something. He was talking about America Independent Day. He said, yes, though they are celebrating the Independent Day all over the world, America, different countries have different Independence Day. He said, that is political independence. The only time you can truly have independence is when you are financially free. That's financially free. It's an independent. As well, you have independent financially. He said, don't depend on Mr. Ash Mufara or on passive. On passive will only provide you the tools. A lot of people here, they didn't listen to the tools. They listen to don't depend to Mr. Ash Mufara and on passive. It means we have to go and look for something now. I said, no. He said, we are giving you the tools. You will determine how far you want to go. Mr. Ash cannot come and tell you. This is what you have to do. This is what it's like. He is dictating. I've given you all the possibility to be financially free. How high you want to go is up to you. But I've given you the freedom. Yes, in non passive, you will be successful. But your level of success will depend on how far you can go, your knowledge of what you are doing. 
you know. So he was like trying to bring it that there is political independence and there is financial independence. On passive will give you the financial part of it, the tools for you to be financially free. But it is up to you to embrace it or reject it and then look for something else. So I just want to throw that that now it's about your own ability, our own ability. OES will come back fully, but how prepared are you? Because I believe when they open it, maybe Ash will not give us too much time. They will say, we, have, we spend time to fix it. They are cooking it now. But we don't know when they open it. Say, this is it now. How far are you prepared? Are you ready to go in and start to take that opportunity to grow? And grow and grow, as Mike Ellis said, because everything we are doing now, we are just in the preparation. Why this um, Mr. Ashmore is doing his part? The time is coming when they will open it and say, I'm done with it. It's over to you. I've handed everything over to you. If you want to run with it, run with it. You refuse to do it, it's up to you. Nobody can force you out to do it, but this is the learning. And I, I'm just embracing this, this moment. And I'm happy for the moment, especially this time we are in. Because for me, I take it as a time of reflection on how I want to achieve my goal when they will open the OES. And I said, this is it. Let's start. So I will leave it there, Andy. Thanks very much, Collins. <laughs> Marty, I'm sure you have a final word that you'd like to add. Yeah, the main thing is, um, Collins is right. We were given the key to success. How successful you want to be is up to you. You can buy more traffic, you can walk, you can crawl, whatever. I don't know about you, but I'm going to run as fast as I can because it's already there and take whatever they have and use every bit of it. But uh, yeah, when when uh, I, I know people are nervous, they can't see what's going on, but, but we know one thing. We know Ash's intent. That's all you need to know. You know what he's done in the past. He's uh, He said it's good to hit rock bottom. I think when he hit rock bottom, he saw something new, something better, something bigger. And they've been working on it for a while. Like Mike said, they didn't start working on it the day we heard it. The day we heard it is he's letting us know we're, we're well on our way down the road. And uh, we just got to have faith and wait until it all opens up. But in the meantime, yeah, get be ready. Know, know what you're doing. This is your business. Uh, if you want to worry and you want to have anxiety, it's a free world. Go for it. I don't get it, but you can if you want. But no, this is a good show. I uh, uh, I know, I, I do, I'm fortunate enough, I do chat with us almost every day. He's very, very, very upbeat. More than I've ever seen him since I've been in on Pals. No joke. So I don't know what we're seeing, but I know one thing, whatever the ship is seen in the kitchen, it's it must be a masterpiece. I'm just telling you. So yeah, it would bother me if he was down and out, but he is no way. He's on cloud nine. And for all of us, remember this listen, remember he's building something where millions of people can be successful, not five, not four. You, you gotta be big to do that. And, and if we honestly thought this would be easy. How great would it really be? Be nothing. This was easy. It took a couple of weeks. How long would it really last? It, it, there's a lot involved. There's a lot of countries and laws and different things going on. And like he said about a month ago, a little over a month, I'm getting back in the front of this ship. I'm going to steer it. It's going to go the way I want, what I envision, when I want, how I want. So. I don't know about you, but I'm happy over that. Yeah, but that's all I got, Andy. Thanks. Uh, um, th thank you all for joining us today. Uh, there's two things I want I want to uh, to cover just to close off. Um, first of all, please, please, please be aware. Uh, my on passive account in in Facebook um, has a picture of me with sunglasses on has been hacked someone has got into it so please 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 do not answer any and i mean any of the requests that he sends or this chap sends you it is not me okay that's most important secondly although the, the website is currently down and we can't get 
information about what's going on. There is so much other information that you can learn from on YouTube, on Facebook. Just look up some details and get to understand what's going on. This is your business, people. And the more you know about it, um, when we actually go live, the more you're going to benefit from it. So thanks again for joining us all. And we'll see you again next week. Um, Opiemi, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again. I know the uh, connection issues we've got and the, the uh, electricity problems. Uh, uh, apologies, you have to go through that. But thank you for joining us anyway.